February the 7th, 2022 it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this program. Uh, this, let me explain, this is just a continuation of incitement and hatred against a Roma community. Um, not really. I am not dangerous for the Roma community, but... I never, ever in my lifetime was. But uh, these two dudes here, these people here, this, this individual, and then there is this criminal here. appointed as a Slovenian president. And these are the people who have every reason to fear me because of hijackings, abductions, extraordinary renditions for the purposes of physical and mental torture, which took no less than 25 years of mine. Uh, led straight into psychiatry through forced joblessness. They basically wiped my life from life. It started with the beatings in front of the partisan memorials uh, in Slovenia whenever I was hijacked from the U.S., brought to Slovenia, um, and there video recorded in front of these memorials. You're talking about extensive torture, beatings, humiliation in front of the partisan memorials, then guided through the local villages, were humiliated, life-threatened, punched, escorted, by the psychiatric staff from Ljubljana Polje on behalf of these people I have just demonstrated you whose interest was to destroy Slovenian nation as whole wipe one away from its existence for the purpose for the recreation of greater Serbian Chetnik state previously known as Yugoslavia as the country that ran war against several other nations uh, on what finally have fallen apart uh, to form several republics uh, since and so in this video recording uh, audio recording I'm going to present more proofs about criminal activities against me on behalf of these people. So I'm talking about Udba people. Udba people, this is like a KGB or a Stasi, the same rank, uh, the type of people that would chase their own people into grave. have triggered my own family against me uh, in the dirtiest, filthiest ways possible, just as I have demonstrated here in this audio. You can see, you can hear my sister inciting in hatred against Roma community. They anticipated would set me up at the local uh, shop, coffee shop. Um, in this video, I am going to present you with an individual who, however, is a company owner with his son, with his brother. If you'd like to get a better idea about this man, this is the one right here. This is, this is basically what this is all about. He was involved in this case since 95. He built his entire company through the case, uh, through my case. 
uh, he became father's friend, would visit here ongoingly. Um, obviously, for a sake of technology, he obtained, obviously, for the sake of even contracts, he obtained in Croatia, and those were given to his brother so he could help me out. Um, this is just a self-employed individual. He's running the company. He have expended with his son, and he's got brother next door uh, that is financially doing really, really well. But you know what? When it comes to the people like this, they did not play any positive role in my life, really. Uh, it's the people that are tools in the hands of the people I had demonstrated you a little earlier. Um, in short, individual engaged in a torture. He was abusive under MK Ultra. I should say at times, and at times was not, but I'm going to say fuck that. Most of the time, this guy was abuser, a torturer. Um, did manage to merge to me with prior already inciting in a hatred against the Roma people. I have other the supposed it is a friend of my father. I have audio recordings, also other audio recordings proving just that. Uh, he would, under MK Ultra, bring me drugged up to the river, Kirka. That's a beautiful river where I grew up, where I became uh, a member of the fishing association already at age four and drugged up as I was, he would incite me in a hatred in front of the Roma groups, having me right next to them and uh, observe, have me observe them pulling the fish out uh, and talk to me how they are stealing fish. That was his specialty and he's not the only one. There is a warden you're going to hear the same shit like this guy incited in a hatred uh, also through the fishing, the same thing. And then there is another guy, uh, the same thing through the fishing also. Uh, all these people against the Roma, because I grew up as a fisherman and there are these just very clear regulations, these are very regulated water, sweet water fishing uh, on amount of fish you can take. Uh, the fishing in this river have took a hard hit because of the cormorant species as a birds that immigrate from up north and did plunder this river heavily. So the fish population greatly was reduced. Uh, and so they stress this stuff to everybody. And next to all this, the main reason for uh, theft to the fish, they pointed into a Roma community, disregarding their social status within this country. simply labeling them as lazy is no good uh, as somebody who doesn't want to work uh, and that's pretty much it and so while there is a problematic I don't refer to one a problematic with a Roma community or due to a Roma community I I rather to prefer one as a social struggle of 
I'm not going to say group of people, but portion of the Slovenian population that is just trumped, uh, pushed aside, basically, to deal with issues whichever way they they can. You know, either you do so or, you know, as well as money, you can just drop that, basically. This is just the way it is. Uh, not a easy situation when you are discouraged on every step of the way from getting anywhere in life. And so do tend to search in you know, attempt to improve their lives like every human being, like every everything, every every living being, uh, in taking an extra fish home, you know, or maybe even doing some other, otherwise what would be and should be seen as a criminal activities. But when you're disadvantaged within the society, it's not really, especially because of the length of these people being disadvantaged. This already was here in Yugoslavia. This is not this is not something new. Then you, the fault for this problem, I deem, falls on the hands of the state more than anybody else. Simple as this. It's quite commanding also to know that for many of these Roma people despite all these problems, they did manage to get up on their feet, they opened their businesses, uh, they run like junkyards, uh, purchase, sell mushrooms, do, doing all kinds of stuff like this to get by, you know, that uh, is indicating clearly that this is about something wrong with, with these people or something like this, but just it's it's just a society that is heavily stereotyping against uh, this community rather than to deal with a problem you know uh, this is this is how it is here in Slovenia it's worse in other parts of Europe uh, I think much much worse and I know it's not the best here but it could be better too. It's not that situation could not, and even less that should not improve on general for the people. Uh, so just like the case with, with my sister, this individual also have found himself um, with some really, really unhealthy, sickening shit coming in the house for which a psychopath actually suggested that would be used to make me sick due to a health problems I have. Uh, my sister brainwashed me under MK Ultra on I am referring to this video right here. Listen, folks, this is, this is, these are swines. These are actually not people. This are svinia. These are swines. My sister, when she took me to this place here in this, it's not a restaurant, you know, it's a coffee shop, suggested me about the food that I'll be offered, that she's going to offer me this, just as I mentioned, just as I explained in this video here. This kind of stuff. Oh, well, there you have English name. Oh, uh, it's actually not English. This is German, Kremschnitt, and no, that's also 
where I think this stuff is coming from. And this is really, really delicious. And then she, she said, you're going to be, you, you're going to be able to order, uh, you know, coffee with, uh, I don't know, vanilla, a couple, Gino, and I don't know what kind of stuff you're going to be able to, you know, this is where you're going to be a chance and this and that. And then she proceeded, then you're going to be sick. Then you're going to be sick like a motherfucker because the cancer, the stuff that you're going to have, you're going to suffer from, this is the stuff that is going to kill you. If that would not be a true, if this is not the true, I would love nothing more than fall dead right here, right now. But this is my sister. My sister is a swine. And this is my sister. This is my genetic sister. She's not a human being. She's a swine. She's worse than Joseph Fritzl. This is my family you're talking about. The man who walked inside of this house did the very same shit. This has just happened for the time for the new year when you have these sweets and goodies and this and that. And so he popped up with his goodies. So I decided I'm going to prepare him, a swine, my own kind of uh, welcome, my own kind of coffee. Um, let me explain something else about this individual. who came with the idea, just like my sister, to set me up. For the COVID-19, the European Union have issued to the countries, to European Union countries, a bonuses, like a little certificates, a travel bonuses, referred to as a tourist bonuses, bonds that you could use to go to the local uh, Slovenian in Slovenia let's say suppose not abroad but in Slovenia you could go to the to the uh, to the restaurant or you could go to um, a guest house hotel whatever it is that you want and you would get a certain amount of money that you could spend so, as European Union stated, it would give a boost to local economies. In reality, it's the type of infrastructure that is being used to push people into deeper and deeper economic, socioeconomic distress crap life basically discouraging people from a job from work claiming that it's a virus uh, discouraging people from obtaining work insisting them that it's uh, bonuses is this kind of bonuses that they can also sell under the table and it's something I already told you about that virus COVID-19 was anticipated as a outbreak that will come out in the future. You, you, you don't have to believe this or many of the people, most of the people that watch this program that were involved in this shit knew about this stuff. I can actually believe that we have a situation due to multi multitude of the people knowing, and I know it's not only government people that knew about the coming COVID, that pretended don't know fucking anything about this COVID, where and how and this and that. That's crazy. But it's not crazy because whatever governments decide then historically, basically, I suppose the outline, everything else is regarded as a conspiracy. So I'm not going to go too far with my conspiracy, if that's what you want. Uh, but this is, in 
my view in my eyes this is just a way to push people into alternatives rather than securing the people right to employment so start to do the stuff that uh, like I did I did everything possible so that I could cash these bonuses uh, that basically for 200 euros bonus you find somebody who gives you a hundred dollar cash and just happened so that the one who assisted me with this issue and the British the Britons again knew all about it because it was the Britons that were with me that whenever we would go for a walk we would go to these people to they knew they absolutely knew the people from the European Union knew this guy like you wouldn't believe this is the guy that would provide like he was a trafficker he would he would use his people to travel to to transport me to Austria to Bavaria to Croatia back and forth to Italy and so on and so forth wherever they would have an order job to do basically this is not this fucking guy is not something that they would not know and the sale that he helped me with this bonds with this tourist bonds to realize it was not something that they that nobody would know about this, this shit was authorized literally by the power by the Milan Kuchan they brainwashed me when you go with these bonds the police you turned off the telephone when you go in his direction and shit like this they did this kind of stuff just so he could follow up on me and try to sell me something else and that's basically where we are heading next we are heading to the audio recording about more incitement and hatred against the local community against the Roma community in Slovenia basically we're trying, we are heading in direction of again attempted so this is how I know it's you Borut Pahor this is how I know it's you Milan Kuchan that's how I know I know you I know you in your guts where is it coming from who is working for who how and this and that so we are just going now to this audio recording yeah, and I'm gonna play to you and it's disgusting that you have a people like this coming inside of your household trying to obtain for the <laughs> Udba for the assassins for the killers of this nation basically pushing somebody mouths uh, words in his mouths basically and recording him so he could desperately get something on you against you and so on and drag you after they already fuck you up 28 years of life let's go on and we're gonna do what this cook is were like a cookies that were like probably made of the most the unhealthiest ingredients possible uh, for the problem I have I'm not saying that something is wrong with it but I never had a problem like this in my lifetime for which this individual also knew next to my family next to everybody I'm gonna have at this time so I know that this shit whatever they have done to me is without absolutely any doubt this is not naturally occurred a health problem I don't understand why William and Harry had me all over London all over Britain in this NHA system throughout these hospitals doing all kinds of medical researches on me checking out absolutely everything what with me this and that claiming me that they're gonna do something and this and that and pointing my, me out completely wrong theories about what they gonna do to me well obviously omitting something they knew uh, but it was not it was just not convenient for them for me to know that's the shit that just somehow this is a stuff that just somehow doesn't add together let's go to the audio and we're gonna go uh, and hear what exactly happened here.
during the visit of this father's friend on this opportunity. Uh, like I said, it was other opportunities. It was plenty, plenty incitement in hatred by this individual in particular. And so there will be other recordings devoted to this individual, but this should be like a first audio recording. He believed that I'm just going to go along, that I'm going to be passive uh, because of what I stated, uh, because of... Uh, because of his favors to me, okay? Because of his favors to me uh, with his tourist bonds that I'm just gonna be quiet. You know, it's also why they kept me jobless. This is also another thing. They do this kind of stuff so they can get other stuff done uh, because it's just really, 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 it doesn't matter. It seems like I would not exist. It's, it seems to me like my life would not have any kind of value other than basically be placed inside of the fucking aquarium, terrarium, if you like, uh, environment they create, abusive environment where you're fucked 24-7 and basically interrogated with idea uh, for these people to pull uh, out of you exactly whatever they want and possibly steer you in the wrong direction uh, and do with you pretty much whatever they want to rationalize why they basically destroy your 28 years of life through the worst crime possible these people are mentally ill i don't know about listen folks man i don't know about the fucking shit like this joseph stalin did not sentence people to torture for the future crimes they would commit do you remember this shit about this lady, this American lady, uh, I can't recall her name right now, but I am going to go to that. I'm going to pull her name, who said that uh, there was actually a movie they created on my subject. I told you about the Hollywood's involvement into this. And it was about you're going to be trialed and punished and stuff like this for the future crimes you're going to commit. Come on, man. This shit is real. So you're saying you did not go for fishing anything at all, my father says. Are they fishing down there? It's, uh, it's gypsy that goes there. It's only the gypsies that go there. Nobody's fishing there. Gypsies take, gypsy takes everything. Uh, then, you know, this is like indirect interrogation methods, you know. My mother starts, you know, that's, they finish this, that gypsy steals everything, all the fish. My mother starts from there. I watched on the TV uh, the program. There is this settlement. They're going to have to do something about it. Of course, she is thinking, contemplating on a Roma community. A poor settlement over there, yeah, with every regret, really, in the conditions these people were, it was really regretful. They should just resettle them all over to a different locations and they allow them to stay there at once. Yeah, this is this is what it is, the man says. Yeah, that's what it is. And the biggest mistake was Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know what they say. They say something about somebody, some farmer that I don't know. And uh, he's saying that the gypsy was were afraid to go out at night. Says he was afraid to go out at night. Yeah, he, he didn't go out if he was out there to go in and and uh, steal stuff. They wouldn't go out there at night. But now he says, now it's all different. Now they have a uh, mobitels. Now they have a uh, telephones. Basically, they have a uh, cars. They're motorized. They watch movies. You know, they watch movies, and then according to the scenarios for movies, they go out there and they do the stuff. I I am laughing. I'm laughing right now too. I say you you think this is this is. I say Joseph, do you think this is what they learn from the movies? This kind of stuff, and say of course, of course. He says bandits rotten. He says this is this is bandits, bandits. Uh, I tell him, I tell Joseph, I said, this is this is all Slovenian problem, you know. That's actually not, that's actually not their problem, you know. I tell the man that... Uh, According to my views, at least, this stuff is happening because they're just excluded from society. They they don't have they don't have a chance to to become part of the society. Basically, they keep them separated. They keep them away from the normal current of life. Basically, <clears throat> and he says that is correct, but that's because they get the support. Uh, he's talking about the money, the free money is what he thinks in his mind to get the free money from the state. And he says, and this is exactly what uh, European Union did, he says. Oh. He says before there was no support, he says. Uh, and I tell and I tell him, I tell Joseph, you know, that's exactly what I think is not the case. Europa, 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 Europa. I said Europa, Europa. That means Europe robs. Europa, Europa. Europa, Europa. And everybody's laughing now. Yeah, some more, some more. Uh, uh, so I explain him what everybody, every politician, every politician knows. Now I said, just because Europa, Europa. Uh, because Europe robs, steals, is why we Slovenes have to take care of Roma people, especially. It's exactly this. This is like one of the main priorities why we are the one who have to take care of this uh, community, this Roma community. What exactly do I mean by this when I say why, especially we have to uh, take care of this community. What exactly I mean by this is that European Union will do this stuff. Uh, they will go and they will lobby through minorities for 
at their own interests. Basically, Germans are going to go and they will go and they will lobby through a certain minority in a certain area at their homeland, basically wherever this community comes from. And when it comes to Roma community, Germans, global players, have in mind a country known as India. And they will just do this basically at your expense. And it doesn't matter where you are, whether you are in Hungary, even merrier, even merrier. So if you are in Hungary or Poland or the Czech Republic or whatever you are, even merrier. So they're going to screw you up. Screw you up because Roma community in Germany disappears. They they have a certain amount of time, certain quality of life, but you know what? All in all, it's like they say, all the roads lead to Rome. They all go to the Rome. That's exactly what a Roma population traveled throughout the time when it comes to Germany. They traveled a lot. They never got anywhere. They all disappeared. And at one time, they completely, completely disappeared. But it's today the German that's going to go to other countries and is going to lessen you on a human rights issues in your own country is something you should not allow. That's why what you should do, especially because you're not, if you're not part of that sad story, Nazi Germany, basically, uh, you should just take your own problems. You shouldn't wait for the German to tell you about the stuff you should do. That's why I said Europa Ropa, and I said that's exactly why it's up to us to take care of this problem. <laughs> Uh, Joseph is uh, funny. He does not take any kind of sugar. He was one of the people uh, held, uh, how you would say, held, uh, I wouldn't say frick, I wouldn't say enthusiasts. Uh, I would just, I, yeah, enthusiasts would be better than addict. Enthus enthusiasts who was translated me on how I should eat, what I should eat for the coming I don't know what they have done to me, but he was the one who was giving me the whole palette of uh, diets next to many, many other people to the degree that, uh, you know, you said to yourself, fuck this <laughs> at the end, because, you know, you don't want to go completely insane. Like I said, almost four years they had me drugged up 24-7. With so much good advice, you actually easily can lose interest for life. So the sugar, no sugar, coffee, no, no, no sugar. My father asked, my father asked him if he goes to Ljubljana, if he goes to Ljubljana. He says he was dead before yesterday. My father says, uh, my mom says, would you, would you want to go? My father said, yeah, I would go, I would go buy some fishing. Uh, my mother protests immediately and I say, he would want to go, why not? He would go so he could give Joseph a little bit company, right? It's nothing, nothing bad. Uh, my mother is against that uh, idea that he would go to Ljubljana or whatever.
This individual is a very good friend of uh, Chertalich, of Mr. Chertalich. Uh, that is the guy that wife is coming from Serbia. This is the guy because of whom, in a big way, I immigrated to the United States in Nineteen ninety-five, uh, local employment uh, office because Josef Chertalich belonged to Udba. Oh, and then you have his son, Boyan Chertalich. These are the two people that are like uh, prominent, maybe even the most one of the most prominent uh, prominent uh, company owners. They were company owners even throughout uh, Yugoslavia. This is basically how deep these Udba people were. You, they think, come on, man. Uh, for you to have a company in, in Yugoslavia and this and that, you just have to be really, really special. I'll tell you that. Uh, and so for the special people, however, the local employment office have gone as far as this allowing me to obtain employment in already independent Slovenia. They were chasing me down the road with the psychologists, with the psychiatrists, demanding for me to marry the daughter of this individual, Chertalic. This information about this individual you're going to find under my complaint, which I'm going to submit to United Nations. I should say resubmit. Uh, there you go. Joseph Chertalich passed away, uh, but his wife name is Milesa, and then you're going to hear it's going to be a Boyan. These are the people that hang around together all the time. Uh, Joseph uh, Chertalich is a guy that was a friend with my father, I don't know for how long. My father is 90, so the probably the two of them were friends for probably 70 years or something like that. Since, since they were children or whatever. Once you go, if you speak Slovenian language, because at the end of this, I'm going to pay you one more time, I'm going to play the whole audio, you're going to hear mother saying that you know, from the conversation itself, you're going to understand that the whole thing, when she had a conversation with uh, with the wife of late Josef Chertalich, uh, it didn't sound too damn good, this conversation with her. Uh, and when I jumped to her defense, basically, to this... Uh, wife of late Chertalich, because, you know, I don't like this uh, going, uh, whatever. The people have issues. Uh, she called her, and so, you know, what? People have their own world, their own ideas, whatever about they do, and that's their business. And you're going to see that all of a sudden, um, mother is switching the side and is trying to put me, like I was the one going after uh, the wife of Chertalich, which didn't make any 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 kind of sense at all. But this is a frequent uh, stuff the mother was doing to me throughout the life, and you can see how calculated. If you speak Slovenian language, you can see how calculated she turns the table around. Uh, paradox uh, is just trying to push the words in my mouth. Basically, she's so well trained to lie that is incredible. I 
Man liekas, ka būs tik kā visu šeit, kam neiet. Nē, nē, nē. Pādri Jēžu dūbu, iesašu pa pādri dārdam, iesam jau pīvu pasašu gārnā. Es esmu tad vārā. Pārkas esmu gār, pa dārdu, gār, pa dārdu, gār, pa dārdu. Pa vādu pīvu, tu uzies esmu šķīstu valkies, ja pārēj vēl kaut kādīt. Mēs vēl vēl zāmēr ir īmanā vēlēšana pozitīva, ne tie. Es tā kad kiet rēba, kad ar bīvēm, pat es ir rēba man sprāvs, ka tas ir pa mažu vāknu. Bet gārši sevi ir zīpā, ja tā kā būš. Jā. Pies, ka kā būs. Tā būs tu gleidā, ka tu esi drīvi. Nidobi. Nidobi. Apak, bet es uvaršu apšēju, jā, 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 Uh, now, uh, the next thing that comes is discrimination against the Bosnian people. Now it's a Bosnian people, it's turn on, the, on to take on a Bosnian people and try to get that out of me. Maybe th he can get something on that kind of stuff. So it's, it's about the sugared coffee. I don't, like, I don't like sweet coffee, sugared coffee, I don't like that. Uh, the Bosnians, uh, when they cook the coffee, he gives uh, three spoons of sugar inside when they cook, the Bosnian people when they cook uh, coffee. Right, right, and then it's uh, just, uh, how can I say, like uh, it's so thick that, uh, I don't know, how you would say that, but it's 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 not exactly. It's like, um, yeah, sort of like a mucus from the nose. It's so thick that it's just uh, sticking itself on the spoon. Basically, that's how much sugar the Bosnian people put inside of the coffee. Uh, you know, because I know a Bosnian people, and I don't even know a single one of them that would not be a hard worker. I don't know one person, one Bosnian guy that would not work hard. They do. Uh, and because I know that there is absolutely nothing absolutely nothing wrong with sweetening coffee I don't have a problem because I would eat sweet I have a problem because they have done something to me and so that I'm gonna have somebody talking to me about like they were talking to me about the sugar and this and that uh, he, he, he boasted when I was dropped up on, on the MK Ultra, how healthy he eat, what he eats, what he, what I this, I this, good this, good that, you eat this shit, you eat this, you're not supposed to, you troll a lot. Yeah, fuck, but I, I, I was happy until they have done something to me for what they told me they're going to do. I was okay. A Bosnian people and myself, we all know that sugar is good for you. If you work physically, and you're exhausted, and you really, really work physically a lot, it's not so bad to take some sugar and burn that into energy. Sugar is just energy. As long as you burn one, you don't actually have much to worry about that much. Everything that is bad is also good for something. And I deem that people who taste absolutely no sugar whatsoever, people that are not exposed to external elements, people that are not exposed to bacteria, people that live inside of the terrarium, aquarium, whatever you want to. They actually, there is a special expression for this kind of people. But these people don't have defense mechanism, in my opinion, functional, and they become dysfunctional. If you're not exposed to viruses, if you're not exposed to bacteria, your immune system, I believe, it doesn't function because it doesn't have need to function that well. 
uh, because it's just not exposed to ex or, you know the external elements in my personal opinion what I know about the Bosnian people they're healthy I never had a problem until they have done something to me and I'm not allowed to know basically so he talks like this about the people that usually work inside of the construction industry in a little bit he's going to be talking about the road infrastructures how they uh, about the asphalt workers and stuff like this <laughs> that's a bunch of bullshit that most of the, a lot of this stuff the heaviest stuff that was done in Yugoslavia and in Slovenia when it comes to this these are the people from Bosnia they were the people that uh, did like physically the most demanding jobs and they prided themselves on on the work on a construction and all that kind of stuff they didn't have any kind of problem with it so somebody who I don't know but I think that um, this guy's uh, a decent uh, he's got a decent work habits uh, but you know and nothing really so special really that 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 uh, I would go and uh, I work him next to coffee with a statement against the Bosnian people uh, for the sake of his boss Milan Kuchan today he goes and tells about how they work on assembly line and there's nothing with them they work on assembly line over there in inside of the Renault and this and that um, yeah that's true it's nothing with them it's nothing with them nothing really nothing they not allowed to work in a Kirka pharmaceutical they allowed to work if the jobs are bad if it's a health hazard because Kirka pharmaceutical pays well so unless there is a health hazard they don't open the Maduro but they're allowed to work in, uh, like I said, in the physical demanding jobs over there at the Renault, uh, because for a variety of reasons, um, which I'm, I don't want to go against uh, my own people, uh, but people are trying to get uh, as best, uh, as paid as much as possible, uh, stable, productive for themselves uh, employments and really it's not necessary uh, for anybody not for us not for the Bosnian people to be in this kind of situation the jobs in Kirka pharmaceutical are reserved for the Serbs that come here they're not even for the Croats anymore Croats alone individual who built this company he was a half Croat are not welcome in here they have a very very specific uh, agenda at this pharmaceutical company here Kirka for the guys like myself Slovenes natives and Bosnian people even Croats this is not exactly the company that this is reserved for you know Borat Pahor, Milan Kuchan and Serbia Express uh, Russians that's how that's how it is here that's how it is here so this guy who never worked in his lifetime on assembly line uh, is now talking about uh, again another nation is trying to get put me something in my mouth and so on man I said this this coffee <laughs> this coffee that I prepare you it's going to be worse than those sweeties you you brought inside of the house <laughs> You're gonna fucking choke on this coffee, boy. Yeah, yeah, it's an easy thing, it's not much, this and that. It doesn't matter what they have done to me in 2006 upon my return from the USA over there, how they wanted to prove me that I'm no fucking good, whatever. It doesn't matter, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
Um, we go to minute 14, 30 something. Uh, I want to uh, really make sure that he doesn't go empty handed to, to borrowed power to me and coach. And so I remind, I wanted to finish about this Roma people, about European Union and so on. Uh, what you said about the European Union, about uh, the Roma community, I say, I said to him, I'm going to tell you like this. Europa Romina Motio Bull Tisochkot Bull Kutaeperna. I I explained to him for the European Union a Roma people, a Roma community is more disturbing, you know, all through he was really, really discriminatory in this context here, this audio recording with idea, of course. As I explained, uh, I, I tell him thousand times they hate Roma people more than you. Basically, they are disturbed with the Roma community inside of the European Union thousand times more than uh, you are, I tell him, as far as the European Union. Now, I say this because he said that it's European Union that does this stuff. I remind him of the Second World War, you know, and I and I tell him if they could, they would have wiped them out at once. He says, uh, I, I said, uh, Germans, I say, they would. And he says, he, 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 he says, uh, Germans, yes, he says, but, uh, you know, he says, not uh, not others. You know, I said, but, you know, I said, Joseph, uh, it's the Germans that run the European Union. He says, uh, no, no, no. He says this, this, this uh, became so protected, uh, the God fears. Uh, and he goes on, you know, he goes on, and now he's talking about uh, Erdogan. That's basically a Turkish president, Erdogan. <laughs> Uh, he continues to refer to Roma people as the gypsies, cigoiners. Uh, he says Erdogan placed them in the right spot. He gave the money to uh, Opcina. That basically is basically like to, to the city, to the region. And so, whichever Roma, whichever gypsies, he says, doesn't want to work, does not get uh, any kind of support, any kind of money. And there is nothing they can do to Erdogan. And in Slovenia, there is nobody in Slovenia that would put gypsies on the right place, he says. Uh, basically, now we jump to another issue. Now we jump to another 
issue it's known Erdogan we know we talk about the Turkish president Erdogan we talk about the Turks about the Turkey uh, may I, you know this is all that kind of stuff that uh, Milan Kuchan and Board of Power would love nothing more to hear from me something on Erdogan on Turkey or something like that uh, that's basically because Alexander Vucic and Putin cashed big time through this hatred, through this beating at partisan memorials, also with a Turkish government, with Mid-Eastern government. At least this is what the case was until they bombed the fuck out of the Syria uh, and caused a massacre over there in, uh, in several other previously known as the Soviet republics. Um, and, you know, the last conflict they had was, uh, they run with this one here with, um, I think it could be maybe even Azerbaijan, uh, Armenia, yep, I think I'm correct, and so on and so forth, but it's never too late, uh, because anything that really sides with me and with Ukraine, which is the case with Mr. Erdogan and Turkey, thanks God, they assisted, somebody assisted and proved himself as a really good partner of Ukraine when in need. That exactly was a Turkey, expressed more solidarity, more support for Ukraine than Germany did, far more. Uh, it would be nothing more convenient to stab me since, you know, I, everybody does that I do advocate Ukraine, Bosnia and so on. It would be nothing more convenient for Borat Pahor, for Milan Kuch and for Putin, Vucic, to get something like this out of me. But, you know, this coffee is not, it's not his day. He, he, he goes further and says, but, uh, you know, this is the kind of guy we would need in Slovenia that would put uh, gypsies in place, he said. We need this. I said, uh, let's hear this again. I said, I wouldn't take care like that of anybody because what Erdogan has in Turkey is a completely different world from ours. For one thing, ladies and gentlemen, Turkey is not European Union member. That's one of the things that's already like a big difference. Uh, he does not have German uh, telling Erdogan uh, on how to treat a Roma minority in Turkey. And according to my knowledge, the Roma community in Turkey is well taken care of. I am not aware that uh, they would have a problem, they would, they would experience discrimination in Turkey, a Roma community. I doubt it about this. I doubt it. Uh, Turkey happens to be one of the most open Turkey is the most open Muslim community, Muslim country out there. Uh, what I'm trying to say, the least discriminatory toward other uh, nations. Okay. He says, he keeps going after Roma people, but gypsies work, gypsy work. Oh, how stupid. Um... Uh, homeland of the Roma is actually India, and there is more than a billion uh, of what he refers as, as gypsies, and these gypsies are maybe the leading power, they are becoming the leading power behind the IT uh, technicians, engineers, and so on. It's basically very, very computer-oriented uh, world, uh, world computerized, quite really, really advanced. And this guy seems like he has some kind of a problem with the Roma people. Talk, keep talking shit about the Roma people. Um, 
let's go and hear this again. I say, I say to Joseph, I say for me, for me personally, gypsies, and in between when I was going to finish the sentence, he jumps in and says, he says, and, and if he's going to work, and if he's going to work gypsy, he's going to steal, is what he says. And I, I go on again. I says, for me personally, I want to finish the sentence. I say, Joseph, for me personally, the, the, the gypsies don't even exist, I tell him. That's where his telephone rings. It's my mother that goes on and start to talk about the police woman something. She was going to bring something about the police woman, some police woman. I have no idea what. These are uh, Roma people and that's it. I tell him, but Joseph, I say, but the coffee was good, right? He says, uh, I say, can, can I give you some more? Can I give you some more coffee? Uh, and he said, no, 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 I have enough, no more. I said, and now I'm going to start eating the cookies. Now I did not eat any fucking cookies. I recalled what uh, he told me the case is going to be, so I don't go for it. But I play with it. I'm humorous. I said, oh, Joseph brought these cookies. Wow, look how beautiful. Father says, no, no, I don't want. I'm going to open the biscuits, mom. <laughs> and mom says, I knew this, you will do. I did try something, but one. I tell him, you know, uh, 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 Joseph, I say, because when I start, I'm not going to eat them, I said, because when I start eating them, I eat them all. So it doesn't make sense. I tell uh, I tell to Joseph, I said, listen, 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 Joseph, I tell him, we we are all Roma people. I, I say to him, we are 
Indo-Europeans, and he said, no, that is not the case. But that actually is the case. Uh, he says, yes, we are, I say. Uh, now the jaws have become silk at the table, sitting at the table. He, he is twisted. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't feel good. I tell, I tell Joseph, you are a gypsy like I am. Oh, he's on the phone again. He's on the phone again. I tell my father also, we are all Roma people. And father goes, no, no, what are you talking about? You're talking stupid shit, my father tells me. And I said, why, why, why am I talking stupid shit? I tell my father, go to Germany and you're going to see how they're going to treat you. I tell him, uh, you go to Germany and uh, you're going to see what they're going to tell you. I say, uh, I say to him, they're not going to tell you. They're just going to do to you. Because they're not going to tell you. They don't tell anything. Uh, it's actually going to be even worse than to the Roma people. That's the way it goes. This is the way the European Union justice goes. And so I also hope that you folks have learned something from this uh, audio recording, video recording. Uh, we, in fact, are in the Europeans, Slavs, uh, which with more or less of flavor from somewhere else there are other nations they also mix including germans here uh but a bottom line effect is this is what our origins are you can go you can google and you can find out about in the europeans slavs and maybe you're going to learn something new for you okay so the coffee um i doubt it uh, it tasted good that day, uh, but this is just the way they do it, and uh, it's going to be more audio recordings with uh, incitement uh, against the Roma community. Basically, um, testing or something like that, you're fucking crazy. Uh, I don't know what kind of a testing this would be. They talk to me about something about the testing and stuff like this. At best, if I would consider something like this would be, you know, if I would, at best, if I would be like really fucking stupid, I would say, okay, uh, they are trying to get an excuse they're trying to share the blame uh, for ruining me 28 years of life, basically, for killing me. Uh, but, you know, um, 
you go and you do the stuff like this, break somebody's spine and all, oh, you know, you do basically all that kind of stuff, you are just trying to murder a person. You're not doing this so that you would get like a sheer blame from an individual. And you continue to go on and pushing him down the road through the cancer issues. Uh, forget about forced unemployment that was the case. Uh, you're just trying to get the fuck in. Uh, some source, something through interrogation and through the circumstances that you created. Because this is just something I'm using right now to prove the point rather than to go into domestic issues here. That psychiatrists have created special environment uh, approach toward me issues uh, for my mother and for my father and how they just gonna do like this with me to, to the degree that my brain will just disconnect and I'm just gonna fucking uh, fall apart basically yeah this is not uh, a nice kind of people today is already wow uh, February the 8th 2022 and um, I ain't gonna have to worry about Pope Francis anymore. That's a good thing. He did his second, but the last problem to me. I'm not saying this is his mistake. I don't like saying that kind of stuff, but uh, this guy was in it to cause as much cluster as possible. During MK Ultra, he would meet here with a lot of people, this is how he became a friend with Obama and got to know Biden and all this. Um, and would always be jumping from one bank to the other. Uh, on one bank, uh, he directly engaged in a torture, in abuse, uh, insisted on people who engaged in abuse, in torture against me. You think about wealthy people from Hollywood. American politicians and Eastern European politicians and how uh, he doesn't think that they are bad. It's nothing nothing bad what they do to you. So what if they do to you? If you're going to say this about this one or you're going to say that about that one, there is nothing I can do for you because this is this kind of person, that's that kind of person and so on and so forth. Uh, express openly appetites to enlarge what he said, his community beyond Europe all the way to Moscow and uh, join a Roman Catholic, Protestant uh, world with Orthodox Church, uh, Christian Church. Uh, but, but, but that comes just with a big but because he definitely have chosen the very, very wrong uh, terms under which he's going to do something like this. He started to push forward this, you know, his, his ideology about enlargement of the church when you had uh, Russian tanks uh, piled up right in front of the Ukrainian border, ready to start the war with Ukraine and so on. So, uh, you know, I just rejected him on few occasions. And so, for the last two day, when I told him, you don't have to go actually to a Moscow uh, to meet a priest of Vladimir Putin uh, for me to resent you during the times like this, you just did met a henchman today in Rome. It was a whole delegation of henchmen from Slovenia that traveled with Borut Pahor, people who engage in a torture that traveled to a pope uh, and have met with him and have reminded me of torture they engaged in also, portion of the torture they also engaged under MK Ultra. Um, I bet not with the good intentions, with intentions for me to reject at once pope and Vatican together. However, I was careful enough, I came to senses. Thanks exactly to this last 
incident the Pope Francis created that the Pope Francis actually had a problem with the Vatican and he did want to create a split church from within a Christian church from within it wasn't to him about becoming a leader of the Orthodox Christians uh, enlarge this faith but it's something else to him more sacred uh, just as this to other anarchists such as Obama uh, and you have a whole specter of these people that utterly hate a Christian community in my opinion a Vatican as whole came up with all kinds of theories about the Vatican uh, and one of the people like this just happened so to be also Pope Francis so today uh, after the last time he did this is the second time it was today his last time he did and he is he ain't gonna do it again and I take the word against Vatican I take one back but in respect to Pope Francis my stand is gonna stay I'm not saying that this man is unfit uh, I will let this issue to be judged by the people that appointed him in his chair because time is going to demonstrate, time is going to show good and bad about what this man did good and what this man did bad. But for me, as far as myself, this is not my Pope. I don't recognize one. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Today is February the 8th of 2022. Coming next are just more issues related into to incitements uh, in a hatred against the Roma community. It's something that pretty much I grew up with here in Slovenia since I was a child in Yugoslavia. This was a normal thing. Uh, and uh, it's just something that some people believe they're going to keep driving, pushing forward. And, uh, you know, it's not going to happen. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. About uh, Mr. Erdogan, the only thing I want to say is that just as many other leaders, he is more interested in myself, in having a problems with myself. He is more interested in issues such as this here which have totally exposed Mr. Milan Kuchan as someone who wanted to completely dissolve Bosnian state, Bosnian community. Uh, basically, people of Muslim faith send them into oblivion, basically delete them from the Balkans for good, make them basically disappear. That's something that Milan Kuchan did Milan Kuchan openly uh, incited in Bosnia as a state to be divided between the Croats, between the Serbs, basically to have one deleted. This is what Mr. Erdogan, Erdogan is more interested in to myself. He also is experiencing some other issues in his region along state of the Israel where a Russian state have embedded itself into the parts of the Syria, threatening basically Israel and Turkey uh, with existence, literally. That's the kind of stuff Mr. Erdogan and many other people would have answers uh, on rather than this. And, you know, Milan Kuchan, this is just a really, uh, when it comes to... Just look at the people that incited into the nation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. He had a special plans. He is he is the one. He is the one behind the war on the Balkans. This is the man who is in the this is the man who is behind it all. This is also what Mr. Erdogan would like to know in this case.
in a little bit I'm going to explain to you is also how did Chetniks, a Serbs, got the weapons from Slovenia in 1995 and in 1996 when they were using me basically drugged up to deliver those to the Serbian uh, to the Serbs in Bosnia and Herzegovina so those were not that could be but those were used for the slaughter of the Bosnian and Croatian population from there that's the kind of stuff Mr. Erdogan and international community would be much more interested than in what what Mr. George Dulz had incited me in uh, with the brainwash. He, yes, he did. He did under MK Ultra that this is going to be necessary because of uh, the problems that I have created uh, into the Roma people and to the Boston people. Listen, I don't recall one single time that I would go after the Turks after the Turkish or after the Bosnian population in real life. I don't remember. I actually have campaigned for the Turkey and I campaigned for the Bosnia all along. I always campaigned for the Bosnian people. This, this was a tradition, the same like uh, for Ukrainian people. For Croatia, for the Bosnian, this always was. So it's this kind of stuff that Mr. Erdogan would like to know better. It was Jozef Dulz who brainwashed me. What I did, what I did is this kind of a conversation here. For every crime, for every crime, for everything, they came after me. They recorded themselves right next to me, explaining me on how I should see, how, sh how I should view the things. It is actually Joseph. Joseph Dulz, who committed enormous amount of crime against me, just like my parents and everybody else did. Based on that crime, he built his little empire over there. That's how he got subsidiary, that's how he got assistance, help, uh, business contracts, financial aid, and so on from the state, from Slovenian state, which is operated by the Milan Kuchen, by the board Pahor. So, that's the kind of stuff the world would like to know. I don't feel myself, I don't hold myself responsible for the crime that you guys have done against me. Why the fuck would I be responsible for this stuff? The world wants to know how you have accomplished all this because you need this kind of stuff to disturb the people. You delivered weapons to Bosnia to the stuff like this in front of the eyes of these people. You fucking hypnotized them steer them what otherwise should never be the case with a case like this that's the kind of stuff that mr erdogan and international community wants to know they want to learn about you not about me Ja, 
Ja, Pauna ist der Leishani aus Form Sveto, no, Čiste Kupovina. Ja, so wird er ja auch hier der Glavi, no, ampak nisam... Ona pa svoje nisam pogleda in tako, ne, nisem tako po vsak, ne. Kaj smo mislim, če je posekel, je posekel, ne. Razumeš, kaj je pa ti, zakaj te ni več, se ni naj kaj sekira, ne, razumeš. Evo. Pa vi, ko boš ti kavico še tam leje? Ne, 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 Mislim, da za me zdi ima na nekakšen pozitiven efekt. Jaz pa kaj je treba kaj narediti, ali pa kaj se je treba ven spraviti, da kaj ti pomoč zlasnem. Begač se mi zdi pa, da je kakao boljš. Jasno. Ti je skakao v trošnik, ter me idoš. Ja, kaj se mi bom zdi Jožo povedal, kaj je to. A ja, kava pa Jožo mora pravo, te pa res en. Zdaj, če to ni pa pravo, tam je še. Kaj je res? Po pravici bo vedel, če si sem malo cukrč, ker sem ti pa sitno. Ampak veš, kaj je? Zato, glede zato. Ampak veš, da kaj je? Kaj je? Kaj imaš rad, da je granat, ta ni dober pol. Ta je granat. Kako je pa to pol? Zato, ker sem čist malo dal, ker se mi je zdelo, da malo mora biti vsem tu, da... Samo pogleda, kako se drži. Ni dober, ni dober, jo, ni dober. Veš kaj je, zato imam pa še vno kavo, ki nisem svetkal. Ne, 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 Oni delajo pivno, fizično, torej, ne? Ne delajo, potem na trapi delo v revozo, zdaj, ne? Oooo, Joško, ne, ne, ne. Na trapi v revozi, ne bo vej. Ja, povedaj, tako kar malo kakšen, ne? Nič je, ima določene samo šepe lepo. Joško, tam so mene dal, meni se zdi, da tri delovna mesta, da smo mi dal enkrat. Na enkrat, da se moral delati. Joško, Vsake dve ure sem zgubil ene 3-4 litre vode. To ti ne moreš jaz, nisem mogel niti verjeti to, kaj je bilo. In to ne, da bi hodil na stranišče ali kaj tako, ne? Ja, sveta spravljali. Ampak skakal sem gor pa dol, ko da bi me nabil jedemo vode. To je bilo kaj do 2006 leta, je bilo tudi 15-16 let nazaj. Nekaj so se zajbavali, pa so mi dali tisti tri delovna mesta skrpili. Ne, ne, ampak tam fino delajo. Tu če eno delovno mesto delaš, tamo da fino delaš. Vse to je normalno, ampak drugače recimo on, ne, fizično, so pa asfalteri zema, pa mora nek 50 ton asfalta prametati. Ja, to pa ne vem. To je pa kuj, ne. Lopata pa cel dan, veš, ne. To pa ne vem, to pa ne vem. Pa na solnce. Pa 40 stopen, pa asfalt 150 stopen. V roči pa 100 meter. To je pa jutr prije, to je pa res prije. Ja, to pa nisem probil. Ja, to je, to je tudi. To pa še nisem probil. Te pa oklimatiziram praktično za zaševanje in vse. A, kurc, još pa ne. Ne, ne, ne. Je bilo tako, da so kar kadil tam. 
Into je nekako cigarete, pa ne bi se da ne je davalo, da bi Pa pa so bili znaki postavljeni, da nika je enja, tam, ko smo delali. Pa je šel, pa je lepo pred leku, tam pred mano, pa pihal v mene, ki je zdin. Jaz sem pa, no, sicer ne tako hodil, ampak na tiste cigarete, ne vem, kakšne se obli, ampak ono me je pa do kraj šlo. Ampak nisem. Tu pa ne vem, koga je bilo, zakaj je šel tu. Ne, ne, v revozu fino delali, je v garaju orgi. Res. Ja, te je na kraki, te ne vem, kako. Številke, številke, katere morajo oni proizvesti. Da, ampak pa naš test, ko kar pravi, se delajo, ne? Ne, ne, zdaj to je zdaj lahko, ne? Ja, da, zdaj stvari tudi v temu, da je... Koliko, 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 da šem sposobno to. Ali pa koliko še priznam to. Ja, ja, pa kakšen pa samo, pravi, da ne vedem. Ja, ja, ja. In prizni, ko se jih vedem nastavljali, da temo so domače, so vedem pa redili zdaj, ne? Te so pa vzdržali, da so prizni, ne? Moči pa dela, pravi, ne? Ja, veš, koga je domač človk, če mene vprašaš, ne? Če mene vprašaš, ne? Jaz bi jih tudi vrn fok na izložbe, raješ kone tuje. Veš za koga? Zaradi tega, ki jaz moram tiste reveže od nekje vozeti tle, on revež se tlele, te za, razumeš, oprosti od življenja, tam domačga, da tlele bljeva, razumeš, nekako, nekako. Domač človk, pa tako, ko jaz, ga moramo obustiti ker ga potrebujemo, ker nimamo domače sile, da bi tisto zadostila tiste proizvodno. Se pravi, da kukor koli domač šok bo po potrebi moral nekje tudi drge najdeti, ali kar koli se bo jaz tu zdržil, ker domač šok, kako z mene nazaj pride. Ja, ali pa drge najdeti. Ja, nisem. Ker je to logično, je. Je po svojo logično. Veš, kako je to person, ne? Mrz kakšen je tak, ki je še mnog smetijema, pa do mlad dela, pa je tam pa že zmatran. Ja, to je ne vem. Jaz želim najboljši našim ljudem, ampak vem pa, da če ni delo na cilje, pa da je nekaj potrebno narediti. Tu pa vem, da ne bom razkeral, ki lahko tisto tujo silo, zavedno zgubi. En, ki dobim slabo, slabo reputacijo, Razumeš, pa bo šla ta fabrka šla iz noga meso nekam v Bulgarijo ali pa ne vem kam. Razumeš, od kodrkoli pride je tja ide dele. Pa je kam spod. Pa pa ni nič več, niti za domačko, niti nič. Ja, taki časi so itak, mislim kaj. To ga spa rekel v tej Evropi, Romih pa to tudi pa tako lepo vedel. Evropo Romi motijo bolj, tisoč kot bolj kot tebe, ne, kot nas tukaj, ne, oni, če bi lahko, bi jih zbresali, zbresali do besedno, Nemci bi jih zbresali, bi jih bilo lahko, ja se, ali tiske Evropo vodco Nemci, ali te je vse evropska politika, jože, ne, samo, sej, sej, glih o temu je problem, Erdogan se nada, ne, ne, on jih je pošlehtal, ne, jože, ampak, ker je denar dal občini in občina razpolaga za iznanje s tem, da te stega in katere neče delati, ne dobe podpore. In man drek mora je zadanje, pa nas ga pa ne človeka, da se prišel, pa postavil porovo, da bo rekel, da ga mi bom pošlehtel za tak, pa tako. Ne, jaz na tak način ne bi noben ga pošlehtel. To, kar ima Erdogan tam narejeno, to je čist en drug svet, ok. Ampak se ga ne delajo, na nevor delajo. Za mene, za mene vsebno cigano, za mene, za mene vsebno Joža, Joža, za mene vsebno cigano vse tudi. Čestim zanje, da je tista policajka, ki je bila... Alo, dobro glede. To so Romi in kaj žeš, mislim. Aha, aha, prav, prav, vidi.
Jo, že pak je ten ty kávy, co je bez zábr. Ale lakoše tam nemám šéf, bože. Ne, ne, malou. Ja jes mu tu le odparo, ma mi te piškote. Ne, ampak oblom, da jih ne bom pojedel, ker je tak... Ne, jes, 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 enkrat, ker začnem mi hože, jes, jes mani konc, ki je v bistvu zgine pri hitru. Ja, res, je, je pol, pri hitr konc. Ampak, če si že ti zase vzela, Tisto pecilo bi ga pa šel četo lahko dalo, ti pa res. Tu pa sem mislim naredil. In tu bom tudi naredil, tu mu bom pa tudi dal malo fara, da bom mu... Tu sem bi bo prav zdi. Poslušaj, Jože. Ne, jaz sem lahko, jaz ne zdaj samo. Jože, mi smo vsi romi. Ja. Mi smo indoevropejci. To pa ne. Smo, 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 Ja se bom malo trenil tale, ne smo prekno. Ja, dobro, v redu, v redu bom. Ajde, ajde, dobro, bo šlo. Zdaj že... Oj, ne vidim, ja, kaj je to? Kakšno pomoč potrebuješ? Dobro, lepo zdravo, lepo se mej, hvala, dje za obisk. Piškotek pa lahko poješ, ne? Piškotek za piškotek ni tako. Orka Madonna je. Ja, ne, ne bom jih zvrši. Jaz sem se bol, pa kad už enke za žen šije spal, pa ne moreš več ostal. Mi 
smo svi Romi na tim. Kako? Mi smo svi Romi. A kak je Romi da mu vjera i tek ugovor? Zakaj je? Zakaj je sam nije govorio? Pa je to nemče pa boš vidio kako te vidio. Pa ti bojo povedal, ko ga nisem jo tem. Pa ti ne bojo povedal. Samo naredil bojo stavu, še kuliš. Pa boš razumo, kaj. Pa je šutil že? Ja, ja, nisem. No, Slavka Madona se vam vrte težko tebi. Samo jaz jih jedel na bom, jaz sem v globu, jaz sem na bom jedel. Samo še malo kaj da popom. Mater se dobro i peškoti.